Hi, welcome to Mr. Techpathy Tutorials. This is part 18 of Linux device drivers. In last session, we discussed about Linux linked list manipulation. We walked through the logic which is used for traversing the Linux linked list. We learned about list for each macro. In this session, we learn about different variants of list for each macros. As a part of this session, we learn following topics. We learn about list underscore for underscore each underscore safe macro. We learn the differences between list for each and list for each safe macro. We learn about list for each entry macro and list for each entry safe macro. We'll also learn about the advantage of using list for each entry instead of list for each. Finally, we'll learn the difference between the list for each entry and the list for each entry safe macro. Coming to our first topic, list for each safe macro, this is the prototype of this macro. This macro is used only if your loop may delete an entry or entries in the list. To avoid confusion, this stores the next entry of the node which you are going to delete and refers to it later instead of dereferencing cursor. Let's discuss about the difference between list for each and list for each underscore safe macro. Here we will see how list for each and list for each underscore safe macro handles the situation when we want to delete a node in the list. List for each function does below steps for deleting a node. It assigns a temporary pointer cursor to start of the node which we plan to delete. It deletes the cursor node where cursor and score next is also deleted. It assigns back the cursor next address to the cursor. This step may go wrong here because the cursor is deleted without taking a backup of cursor next. To avoid this situation, we have list for each underscore safe macro. List for each underscore safe macro does below steps for deleting a node. It assigns a temporary cursor to the start of the node which we plan to delete. It takes the backup of the cursor next in the next pointer which we provided as input to this macro. Now it deletes the cursor node where cursor next is also deleted. It assigns back the backup next pointer to the cursor which is the safe way to do. This may be the reason it is named as list for each underscore safe. When you are deleting a node in a list, always it's safe to use list for each underscore safe rather than using list for each. Hope this topic is clear. The other two variants of list for each macros include list for each entry and list for each safe. These are the two prototypes of these macros. Let's first discuss about the parameters of these macros. Cursor is the pointer type to use as a loop cursor. List is the head of your list. Member is the name of the list head within the containing structure. Next in case of list for each entry is another structure list underscore head to use as a temporary storage unit. Let us discuss the advantage of using list for each entry instead of list for each. List for each entry is equivalent of list for each and list underscore entry macros except only one variable is needed for this. This is the code snippet which we use for traversing a linked list using list for each function. In this code we use list for each to loop till end of the list. For every loop we use list underscore entry macro. So each loop we used a call to list underscore entry operation. So each loop we used list underscore entry macro. But when we use list for each entry macro, there is no need to call list underscore entry macro. In this code, to use list for each underscore entry, first remove this list for each entry call. Now add list for each entry call with extra parameter list. So this is the extra line which I have added with an extra parameter list. Now, remove the list entry call because it's already taken by list for each entry. So I'll be removing this line. The next step is to change the if condition to pointer written by list for each entry instead of entry pointer written by list entry. Earlier list underscore entry call used to return as an entry. But now list for each entry will be returning as the PTR. Now change this if condition to pointer written by list for each entry instead of entry pointer written by list entry. So this is the entry pointer written by list underscore entry. Now we will be replacing with the PTR written by list for each entry. So I'll be removing this entry here and I'll be replacing it with the statement. So here you can see the PTR priority will be compared with the new priority. The rest logic remains the same. Let's jump to our final topic. The difference between list for each entry and list for each entry safe. Earlier we have discussed the difference between list for each and list for each safe. The same logic applies between these two macros as well. 
While deleting a node in a list, list for each entry does not take a backup of next pointer, whereas list for each entry safe does the backup. Apart from the macros discussed till now, there are various Linux linked list macros which are available in your kernel header file list.h. Please refer this file for more information. Thanks for watching this video.